Hey, and we're back with another episode of Before You Buy, that show where we give you some straight up gameplay and our first impressions of the latest games releasing. And today we're talking about Just Cause 4. It's another Just Cause game. This time, uh, the graphics are better, there's new stuff to shoot, the physics are improved, there's more experimentation with more gadgets, there's scary weather stuff, and it all looks a little bit nicer. We got a review copy, so we've been spending some time with this one, and I gotta say, I sat down to gather some thoughts for this game and I'm looking at my computer screen and I barely got anything. It feels a lot like Just Cause 3, love it or hate it, depending on what kind of Just Cause fan you are. Uh, and the whole formula, for me, is starting to get a little stale. It's a perfectly fine Just Cause game, by all means, but at this point, I'd like to just see a bit more other than just some shiny new bells and whistles here and there. Now this time, Rico Rodriguez visits the island region of Solus, which is yet another tropical-ish island dominated by a bad leader man and a military force that's like really overpowered. Only this time, it's more of an evil corporation that's oppressing the people and the leader and his technology has former ties with Rico Rodriguez's father, who was apparently a renowned scientist. Uh, there are new characters, a new band of rebels, and a pretty tongue-in-cheek, simple story to play through if you can muster up the energy to really care about it. It's really there to keep you occupied and string you along and for that it works it's pretty funny at times and more self-aware of how ridiculous Rico is than ever uh, basically he is flying Superman spider-man Rambo crossed with like a spicier Nathan Drake and he's almost invincible and that's the fun with your grappling hook your glider suit and your parachute you can get around really quickly and not even bother much with cars on the ground uh, the grapple to wingsuit glide from just cause 3 is really refined here it's a type of move like from just cause 3 it takes a little bit more coordination to pull off but it's a bit more forgiving this time. Either way, it's still really fun, and it's like some of the best in-game locomotion ever. And having it be somewhat skill-based means that practice players can do some really cool shit. I'm looking forward to seeing clips and stuff on YouTube. Uh, and that also is the same with the new gadget system. Now your grapple can launch tethers just like in Just Cause 3, uh, but now you can have rocket boosters and an air launcher balloon kind of like Metal Gear Solid 5's fault and recovery system. Uh, you can swap between these on the fly with the D-pad and totally customize how you trigger them. And it's like the deepest the game gets in terms of customization besides some skins for your wingsuit. Uh, but you can do a lot of shit with these grapple tethers to cause a lot of different types of destruction. You can make a boulder fly up in the air and then drop it on an oil tanker, fling stuff around, create makeshift Rube Goldberg situations. Look, it's really great if you're creative with game systems. If you were the type of person that did fun exploits in Breath of the Wild or another Just Cause or other games that are systems heavy and physics heavy, uh, you'll be able to do some weird and wild shit. I'm not that creative personally, so I mostly just used it to smash stuff together and cause a lot of destruction. And destruction, again, is the name of the game here. Blowing stuff up fills up a meter that inspires a group to fight with you, and from then you can spend them on the map to spread out your control. You slowly build up the map from one central location and, and spread and work from there, which is refreshing instead of, you know, peppering out, finish stuff across the map just wherever you end up. Because while you can go anywhere as soon as the game starts, it's actually pretty focused and straightforward stringing you along, which I kind of actually enjoyed. It's a nice change of pace from a game that really needs it in terms of structure, especially compared to other open world games I've been playing lately. Uh, you can still wander and barely do quests and just blow stuff up or do side challenges and races. Either way, they're still fun to be had. A lot of stuff involves the same old samey blow up this, steal this, or quickly hack this computer terminal while thousands of dudes are shooting at you all at once. It gets old really quick. I was bored before I saw half the map. Thankfully, the story does have moments of cool sequences, especially like the new weather stuff that they've hyped up. Uh, dust storms, crazy thunder and lightning storms, blizzards, and most notably, tornadoes. They're all pretty damn awesome and really impressive. Dodging lightning and thunderstorms are kind of annoying though, but the tornadoes especially just make for cool scenarios that are fun. You'd think it would make for some good destruction, but when it comes to you just doing your Rico thing, there seems to be way less emphasis on blowing stuff up compared to Just Cause 3. I mean, you still blow stuff up all the time, but it doesn't feel like there's as much destructible dynamic stuff, like destructibility, which is a total bummer. And speaking of bummers, you don't really have all of the infinite throwable C4s anymore, which sucks. They try to make up for it in certain ways, but I just liked having the throwable C4, I don't know. Otherwise though, shooting and doing stuff with guns, 
feels about the best it has, which isn't saying much, but it is snappier and punchier. I wish ammo wasn't so limited at times because it feels like kind of counterintuitive to the fun, explosive playground when you're stuck on the ground with no ammo and there are literal rockets being launched at you from like 50 helicopters in the sky. But you know, the point is of course not to shoot guys on the ground, it's to grapple up to that helicopter unrealistically and punch the driver and steal it. It's still awesome, you know, but when you're flying around and backflipping off of cars and wingsuiting through snowy canyons or blowing up a tropical base, the game does look pretty nice. It's colorful and on PC especially, it really handles the explosions exceptionally well. The gameplay here is split between PC and a PS4 Pro that I recorded on, if you're wondering. Uh, when you stop and look at things up close though, parts of it look poo-poo and dated, but overall, Vista and effects wise, the game is still a looker. Gotta be totally honest though, can't wait for mods to get their hands on this and add some weird shit and like multiplayer and stuff. And I wish there was more progression overall cause like I said, I got bored about halfway through. You are a complete badass from the start and aside from his few small gadget tweaks here and there, not much really changes. Well, at least not enough to really freshen it up for me personally. It's a fine game and some folks will have a lot of fun with it. Just Cause fans that love three will love this. Uh, but after just playing the hell out of Just Cause three for me, I'm not as satisfied with four. I'm hoping the next game is a massive overhaul or a change in direction because for me, I guess in my personal taste, there just wasn't enough to really uh, keep things new. Just Cause 4, like the previous games, the emphasis here is really on making your own fun. Now, it's a fine game, like I said, but what really matters is how much of your own fun you can make, how much mileage you will get out of this game. Regardless though, if you were looking forward to it, if you're a Just Cause fan, I'd love to hear your perspective. It's dropping uh, Tuesday, December 4th. So let's talk about this stuff down in the comments because this is a before you buy. I give you some pros, some cons, and some personal opinions. So we gotta talk about this. Let's talk anything Just Cause down there. But if you learned a thing or two, clicking the like button really helps us out. We appreciate it as we wrap down this crazy fall season. But if you're new, I gotta point out, it's worth subscribing and clicking that notification bell because we put out new videos every single day. But either way, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.